Hi, how you doing? Another week, another festival. This one is the Orkney Rock Festival. It is the friendliest festival in the world. Festivals by their very nature are friendly places, but this one wins hands down. For an actual change, we are early. We've got an hour until the, the boat goes. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Normally, we arrive with like one minute to spare before the, the check-in closes. Because we've got a bit of spare time, I've sent the servants off to find us some bacon rolls. Uh, so hopefully she'll be back soon because I'm starving. Right. So, so the servant's back <laughs> with the food. And she's ready to play catch-up roulette. Catch-up roulette. <laughs> you lucky you even got that in. <laughs> Okay, so we've arrived at the Pikikoi campsite in Kirkwall in Orkney and we're set up just now. Now, Gav and Stuart are already here, but they're not at the vans, they're drinking already, so we're going to have to go and find them and catch up, I dare say. Now, there's two different ways to get to Orkney via ferry. Well, there's more, but there's two sensible ways. And uh, the first one is from Gills Bay to St Margaret's Hope, which is the one we normally take with Pentland Ferries, or the uh, Scrabster to Stromness, which is the one that we took this year. And the reason why I took that one is because I got it cheaper because uh, Dwayne Davies is an awesome fella and he got us on the friends and family scheme for these ferries uh, when we went to the Delting Up Heli R in March this year. So thanks for that, Dwayne. Saved, saved us a few quid. Uh, so yeah, normally we go Pentland, but we're on North Link this time. There's not much in it, but we have arrived later than them, so I'm sure they'll rub that into us when we get to the bar. Right, Hills has got a new battle jacket, and she's put it on top of her, her leather jacket, and she's got her turn rings, she's got her, her battle shorts on, and her, and her bother boots, her rosy DMs. Okay. Now she thinks she looks daft and she shouldn't wear that but I'm saying that she looks just fine and she should wear what the fuck she wants. So what do you think? What do you think? I think she looks okay. <laughs> if you think she looks okay, let her know in the comments.
Markus. <laughs> Don't you video me <laughs> Without my consent What you got Hills? You'll be getting, uh, you'll be getting Spanish managers <laughs> Non-consensual Fish and Jack Halloumi Bargam And that's a gav No, wait, wait <laughs> <laughs> Bully! Get off my camera! There's a dog in the child's seat! Come on! Have you seen the dog in the child's seat? Where are you going? <laughs> basically done <laughs> is walk around the pubs twice tonight. again uh, we've seen um, oh, fucking people who play music lots of bands and again. we're a bit fucked but we're going to see the silver penguins as the last band tonight and in, in the Ola which is the first bar that we went into and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that because they're all you talented too. musicians uh, when is it? Stuart's fucked. Is it your round? Gav's fucked. Whose round is it? Is it Gav's <laughs> round? Or Hill's round? Or your round? Or my round? Uh, it's not my round. It's not my round. Why do you think it's not your round? Uh, because I bought one two rounds ago. So, yeah. Uh, there's only four of it. Yeah, so Are two rounds sure? ago. So there's one more before. Whose round is it? There you go. Hill's is round. It's Hill's yeah. round. Yeah, then it's mine after that, I think. I'm going to get one of them. So anyway, we're having a very nice time and we've had sort of emotional conversations and we've had shite conversations and we've had great conversations and it's all the kind of shit that you love. Always.
Hold her here. <laughs> okay. So terrible. We have um, what, what time is it? What time? Twenty past one. Twenty past one, and we're heading back up the road. And we've had a tremendous night. It's just so great. You say tremendous. It's been, been, right. <laughs> it's been tremendous for me. Right. Tremendous. Tremendous for me. Uh, it, it was it was all right for you because uh, you had to put up with me, so that's fair enough. Right. Anyway, you're all a bunch of cunts, and I love you. So last night we went to three venues. Um, we started off at the Ola for food. Uh, first real band we watched was the Drones in the Torvo, and we went back and watched some Buddy Blues Club. We went and watched. Dog spawn in the old motor house and some black spoot back in the Torvo and we finished off with the silver penguins in the Ola and they were tremendous. Really good band. Just two covers but with a Orkney flavour to it. With an eleven year old drummer who kicked ass. Lord! Stop bullying me! Busy night, love. <laughs> If my time lapse worked out, the observant of you will notice that I did a wee detour around Stromness and Kirkwall before arriving at the campsite, and that's because idiot me forgot my heart drugs, so I had to get a picture of them sent to me, and then had to go around to a couple of chemists to uh, get enough for the weekend. And all the people that helped us out were lovely, so thank you very much for that. So we've nicked the top end of the, the campsite, there's Gav, there's Stuart, there's us, and the reason for that is we're away from most people, in case we have a wee party, like we did one year, and uh, all the bands and everything are all that way, So, but there isn't an exit there, so we have to climb over the wall, don't, don't tell the, the campsite staff. Saturday morning then, a little bit hungover. What they do here in the Orkney Rock Festival is have a festival tattoo. So we're off down to find out if we can get one now. Apparently we have to book a slot. So we'll show you that if we manage to get in. <laughs> no. Did you miss your move? I did. How the hell did I miss it? So Swaindo was thinking about joining us this weekend, but the last we had was the forecast for Saturday wasn't conducive. Uh, how's your forecast accuracy, Swaindo? Where eh? taps off in the Orkney sunshine and we've got uh, a few beers to drink shortly we're just having a wee cup of tea and uh, Gavin Stewart are having a kip how hardcore is that the breakfast was exhausting right we've had a few drinks by the van and now it's time to go in to see some bands. Saturday in the Orkney Rock Festival is all about the main event, which is in a venue called The Nuke, which is a ticketed paid event, and that's where we're off to now. Feeling a little bit shabby, and Stuart's still hungover. He's really struggling. Not really struggling, just... Struggling. Just a little bit just struggling. struggling. Just, yeah. But the rest of us are fine, because we're not lightweights. Aye, aye. Hello. How are you doing? Not bad, how are you? All about the bit of a seeing you, sweet cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
represents a number. What is the number? The number is Hills. One. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's literally good. How obvious can, can it be any more obvious? Right, do, do another one. Right, I'll do another one. So, right, so we'll go for what's on the table represents a number, and the number is nine. Oh my god, you are like fucking... <laughs> Do you understand it? No, I have no idea, mate. I'm fucking... It's obvious, it's nervous. obviously like, you're looking at it like it's nine. It's nine, it's nine, and every way it's nine. How can you not get that it's nine?
Sunday morning in and I've become one of those campsite dry road wankers with crocs. Fuck it, it works. Been for a shower. Facilities here are excellent. Band started too today. Feeling a bit rough. Had pizza for breakfast. Leftovers from last night. Very chilly, very garlic. So my breasts will be hanging all day today. But festival's been fantastic so far. Long may it continue. There's the Gavilar. He's been out and done a 33 kilometre cycle ride this morning, put us all to shame. I was hanging at Mars, I don't know how he managed it, because he was in a worse state than anyone last night. Was he night love? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good to do it. Badly packed. <laughs> what you got, Hills? I'm badly packed. Sandwich. And chips. It's all falling out. Pretty stacked, isn't it? Uh -huh. In this last year. Slightly. 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 What kind of soup you got here? Day one week, I think. Day one week. So when I go to rock festivals, I like to hang out with the charismatic frontmen of some of the bands. These, these guys are the strongmen who podium in, in the national strongman competitions and everything. However, Dwayne Davis wasn't available, so I'm having to put up with Callum Elder, the frontman of Electric Mother. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Callum's uh, just got us one of these which is a uh, charging mat for your phone, a USB charging mat uh, for Wi-Fi charging and he's the man. So Callum, do you want to plug yourself uh, <laughs> on camera? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've just started doing some laser engraving so I've been doing things like charging mats, hip flasks, uh, sleep coasters and things. Um, going under the company name of Cutting Edge Orkney. Okay. Is, you got a website? We have got Facebook, an Instagram, an Etsy shop, but we don't have a, an actual website yet. Cutting Edge Orkney. Cutting Edge Orkney. Yeah. I'll put a link in the description. what it is that I like about this festival the most and it's the Sunday. The Sunday is tremendous. I use that word a lot but I fucking mean it. Right, on the Sunday here all the bands that have played over the weekend they they play like secret sets or, or proper sets but they're like cover sets and it's just the bands relaxing, decompressing and having fun and that translates to the crowd and it's just the most amazing feeling being in a community just loving the band and loving the music it's hard to describe unless you've been here but you have to come here you really do
Oh, it's Sunday and uh, Dirty Rose are about to come on and we're a bit fucked. Uh, in fact, we're quite a, quite a lot fucked. But I've had a great weekend. I fucking love this. So I'm going to ask them what they think of the weekend. Hang on, hang on two seconds. What did you think of the weekend, Hills? Fucking awesome. Uh, Van Dappy Josie. <laughs> Fiona, what did you think of the weekend? This is your first one. Yeah. And did you like it? It will not be my last. I've loved it. Okay. It's brilliant. Totally recommend it. Stuart, what did you think of the weekend? Uh, awesome festival. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Most stocks good. Downloads. Winning. It's not as good as it was. But um, on the Rock Festival, fucking amazing. Brilliant. What did you think, Pete? You know, you what was your... You know what it? it's like, yeah. How's your experience been? My experience is uh, one of... Cake. <laughs>as a dog, spent most of it in the toilet. <laughs> We've had to stop just south of Thurso for her to uh, recover somewhat. It's 24 degrees here, it's roasting, and she's freezing and sweating and uh, 
<laughs> really struggling, so I hope for this wee walk I'll sort it out for, for the journey home. I've got some extra sink bags just in case she needs them again. Uh, we've had a tremendous time at the Orkney Rock Festival. It really was amazing. I just every time I leave there, I feel like I've been touched by magic. It's an enchanting place. If you've never been, you must go. Well, we Jim, this has turned out to be. Sipster Farm. It was a working farm and they're converting it to a forest by planting native trees and it's just a nice little walk and a picnic bench next to a beautiful little waterfall. So aye. If you're ever passing, give it a wee look. I doubt you'll get nice weather like this for 364 days of a year, but we were lucky today. <laughs> Cake? 